Greetings, my friends. Let me explain to you what happened today uh, when I went out and tried to mail a package. And then we'll discuss the ramifications that it has on our country right now and on the, our country in world moving forward. It's not just America, it's global. So I went out to mail a package today. I needed to get some uh, important of uh, vitamins and supplements to a, a housebound elderly relative and went out to to mail it. And I got to the place and it was crazy. There were of uh, pieces of tape on the floor, four of them in the large waiting room, and they had people sitting or standing on each one of the pieces of tape. You had to stand on the tape or they would jump on you and, 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 and they would raise their voice at you and yell at you and tell you to, to get on that tape. And I stood outside because I didn't want to be inside of it because there was just too much going on. And when someone came out, I, I then went in, found my spot on the tape. As people were going to the counter to send a package like we've done over and over again, if they got too close to the counter, they would be yelled at uh, by, by the, the fierce looking employees' faces. They looked mean and nasty and fierce and telling people to back up now. Uh, they were just, it, it, it reminded me of watching the old videos of the Nazi concentration camps minus the dogs and the and the uh, military with guns and that and that's coming it's, in fact it's already starting to come locking down borders of different states in america with military and, and and dogs and cops and everything it's coming to stores as well and when i finally got my turn and people were scared you looked in their faces they were scared it was terrifying for them it's a terrifying experience for them to be in there and when i got to the counter finally and i i kept my distance and did what i needed to do and I explained to the person that I had vitamins and um, supplement powders. And then he looked at me at, with, with a real serious uh, scowling face and voice and said, do you have gunpowder in there too? Amazing. Why would he even ask me that? Not even, nothing to do with, with uh, I explained what I had. It's the paranoia, my friends. They are, they are, are setting us up for the fall. <clears throat> do you think, does anyone out there think that when the Nazis in Germany first started to come to Jewish businesses, and put the Star of David on their windows to mark who they were, that uh, that the, the Jews uh, were worried. No, they figured, hey, this is something that's coming, it'll pass. Then they started going in and uh, and, 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 and uh, vandalizing their places. And they started shutting them down, started rounding them up, started getting them ready to go. And then eventually they got sent to concentration camps where they were executed. And the whole time they would just tell the Jews, we're not, we're not doing this anything bad. This is not martial law. Sound familiar? That's all you hear now around America and the world. This is not martial law, which it actually is. This is not martial law. We're just trying to help you. Next thing you know, they help them to the grave by executing them. And it reminded me a lot of boot camp. Those who follow my ministries know I did 20 years in the military, mostly with the Marines. And when I went to, went to boot camp, of they would yell at you they would they, they would try to program you they get in your face and scream at you and if you didn't stand on the line the right way they would yell at you to program you and that's what they're doing right now my friends all across america all across the world they're programming us trying to get us on with the program so that when the b system rolls out and the market of beast rolls out they'll be able to you'll, you'll just do it because you're scared i wouldn't do it if i was here i'm going to be in heaven praise the lord be via either rapture or death but if i was here I wouldn't take it because I, I, I know <clears throat> it means eternal damnation and hell in the lake of fire. But again, they're trying to program you. They're trying to get you scared. They're trying to make you worried. And the whole scenario was terrifying. Me physically wasn't scared. I've, I've been in numerous frontline combat tours and I know how system works. I know how programming works. I, I had to go through it for 20 years in the military. But people were terrified and scared all around me. It was a terrifying experience for people in that, in that room and building. And they were just, it was just like they were in lockstep and they were just afraid to make any mistakes and being yelled at for making mistakes. My friends, this is a big, big thing. It's huge. And again, it has major ramifications for the entire earth because they're using this virus to, to, to bring on the one world order. <laughs> they're doing so many things. As I said, there are already several states in America, they said they're locking down the borders. No one comes in or goes out. And people are being, there's just all kinds of, of just National Guard being pulled out, people being stuck in the houses for curfews, just for tornadoes happening and regular things happening. And it's all it's all building up. It's, it's all building up to, to a crescendo. And it's just starting right now. We're not even near how bad it's going to get. But understand again, FEMA camps are being opened all across America, and they're and they're staffed with military and with barbed wire. Where the barbed wire goes in to keep you in, not to keep people out, but to keep those inside the barbed wire in. 
okay? And they can say they're using it for patients at first for whatever they want to say, but I know what it's going to be used for terminally. For those who are against the government, including Christians and everyone else who are left behind, I believe those camps will be filled with them. I believe they'll be executed in those camps. We are living in dire, dire, dire times, my friends. If you don't want to be among those who are being executed and being stuffed in concentration camps and being just treated like animals, you need to find Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now. There's no other time. You need to do it right now. If you've never been saved or you're a backslidden Christian, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. I don't want to see anyone go to hell in the lake of fire forever. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. And if you'll hear back from me, I've got 150,000 friends and subscribers on social media. Trust me, I'm praying for you if you ask me to. Look up, true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Can't wait to get out of this place. I love you all so much. May God bless you. Share this video. Get the word out and wake up. Bye.